Okay. Things are looking good. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, no problems with the reward. That's always a good thing. How is everyone? How's how's it going? I just uh, show my chair over a tad bit. The chat is weirdly silent. Okay, well, give him a second there. Oh, cool. Uh, there we go. We'll start the game up. So, uh, we are playing a second game. No, we are playing, um, ooh. Ooh, that's really loud. How's your Persona adventure going? I'll, I'll talk about it. I will talk about Persona 5 a little bit as we play Beauty and the Beast and uh, the other Beauty and the Beast game because I'm actually really enjoying Persona 5. <laughs> but uh, first off, um, we're going to play two Beauty Beast games that are on the Genesis. Actually, I think they're the only two Beauty Beast games on the Genesis, and this might be a little bit loud. That is definitely a little bit loud. There we go. Just turn down my... I don't want to turn it up so I can actually hear it. There we go. Perfect meeting. So, uh, first we're going to start off with... Oh my god. Five bucks? I did not get this. Did I get this at Value Village? Apparently I might have gotten this at Value Village. For five bucks. But I don't think that's right. Anyway, so, uh, the first game we're going to be playing is called Beauty and the Beast Roar of the Beast. Um, in this one we play as Beast, if it's not obvious. And we're going to be doing a lot of roaring. Um, beyond that I don't really know, because I've only ever played like the first level and I couldn't figure out how to get past the first level. So now we get to enjoy that on stream together. Oh, yes! And... This is a really interesting thing. So this one and also the other uh, Beauty and the Beast game we're going to be playing today, both of them are actually made by Sunsoft. Um, I don't know why you're saying, oh no, uh, they're Chris and or Laura, because Sunsoft has a fairly good reputation for making some decent games. There's certainly a lot of talent behind Sunsoft. Uh, I think one of their most noteworthy games that they made, as far as licensed material goes, would be the Batman game that was on the NES, the the really good one that came out like near the end of the uh, the console's lifespan. So like not a lot of people got to play it because they already were you know moving on to saving up for the next system that was coming out. They do, but Sunsoft Games means old games, and old games makes me feel old. Fair enough. Um, I'm trying to think what Sunsoft games we would have grown up with. Because for the most part, our generation kind of got the tail end of the Super Nintendo era. And like the Genesis and all that. So we only got to see like the tail end of that. We mostly grew up when like, you know, the N64 and the PlayStation 1 were the big thing that were coming out. Like, I know that my first Sonic game was, like, Sonic, um, 3D Blast was my first Sonic game. And that, that's, uh, that was a late entry into the, uh, that series. I'm trying to think what Sunsoft games uh, I would have, uh, experienced beforehand. Because I knew, I knew about Sunsoft before I got into game collecting and, you know, researching histories of Vigi games, as far as that goes. I can't recall a game it would have been. I just, that logo is very nice to me. But yes, it does, it does make me feel old seeing a Sunsoft logo because I do not believe they are around anymore. Um, before we start though, grab yourself your beverage of choice. I am drinking water because I am lame. I am lame and getting old, apparently, because... Fucking heartburn. <laughs> I'm 
Speaking of heartburn, I'm gonna eat a Pocky. That definitely helps. <laughs> okay, so. Let's get started with this. Um, I should know. Coke is just spicy water anyways. Yeah, that's why we drink Dr. Pepper, because it actually has some flavor and taste to it. Oh. No, 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 no. So. Um. Notepad's back out. But this time it actually has something useful written on it and nothing about Batman Ninja. Well, I mean, it does. The notes are still there. No. I've actually written down uh, some of the cheat codes for level slick for both this game and the next one, uh, just to uh, just so I don't have to like look it up on the uh, the interwebs. I have them all right here, quickly and ready to go when we need them, which I can guarantee they will. We will be needing them. What are you saying, lame about? It's because you're sick, right? I'm not sick. I, I will briefly admit that about maybe five, six hours ago, I was feeling like I was getting a bit of a headache, but that's gone now. Thank God. It's gone. But I'm just drinking water just to be on the safe side. <laughs> no. I would drink Dr. Pepper even if I was sick. Dr. Pepper heals everything. Did you know? That they used to drink hot Dr. Pepper back in the day to make you feel better. The only time George doesn't drink Dr. Pepper is when he is on his deathbed. <laughs> See, Chris knows. Chris knows what's up. Get with the program, Laura. Anyways. So, let's play this. Uh, the story's been going on while I've been talking. Uh, deep in the dark woods, the beast lives out his cursed existence alone. Uh, except for his lo 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 loyal servants, who have also suffered from the curse. Uh, suddenly, a terrible storm hits the castle, and some animals from the nearby woods become enchanted as well. The beast rushes to the west wing to protect the magic rose from the enchanted creatures. <laughs> Best reading ever. Okay, let's do this. Alright, so Beast Roar is a game. Uh, A's for attack, B jump, C roars. Okay. Start game. Is a action platformer? We've already read this. There was music. Okay, here we go. So eh, eh, eh. Fuck it. Do I have to beat them up? I... Hmm. I don't know if I get... I've died. A temporary setback. Rise and try again. The fuck is this? Fucking, um... Alter Beast? Rise! Maybe if I just avoid... Having to deal with... Oh my god, there is just a lot of stuff. Oh, fire kills me. A temporary setback. Rise and try again. Are you, are you seeing why this game isn't good? Okay. Oh, fuck off. That didn't hit me. Beast looks so sad when he... Uh, when he crouch walks. <laughs> Does he? Rubber, rubber. I've become domestic. <laughs> that rat is a cheap rat. Oh, 
What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> A temporary setback. Rise and try again. Is this gonna be the new thing? A temporary setback! Wait, I get- that's, that's a platform? That's a platform?! That's like four rips already, I know. I can't jump and attack, I don't like that. Oh, fuck off, you rat. Rat bastard. You bat bastards! Oh my god. You have failed! Game over. Continue. The temporary setback dies again. <laughs> oh, okay, so Roaring like freezes enemies in place. Eat it! Ooh, can I get that? Ah! Uh, hey! Ooh, invincibility. Wait! Oh, you... You! You've been hitting me! So you're gonna start seeing a problem, and this game likes to repeat its backgrounds. Oh, Jesus. I'm, like, down in one hit. Ah, there it goes. A temporary setback! Rise and try again! Will we get past the f fucking West Wing? That bat took, like, an entire mere worth of HP. Oh my god, I was doing so fine. Whoa. Whoa. Move faster on all fours. Damn you, bat! <laughs> A temporary setback. <laughs> Man, that's what every game over screen should be. A ah, temporary setback! This game is now about remembering where the enemies are as they come. Oh, fuck off, bat. What? I was invincible! You can't do that to me! Point of being invincible. <laughs> oh, I was trying to turn around and it wouldn't let me. Back set temporary A. <laughs> We're getting there. Just give me a sec. Oh, fuck the rat. Everything takes, like, a good chunk of damage off of you, and I don't like that. Wow. Like, no leeway whatsoever. No, oh, did not mean to... Oh, you stupid.
Oh, jeez. What? That snake sniped me! Can't get me, can you? These bats can definitely get me, though. What the fuck hit me up there? I'm doomed. Gotta look for an opening. Is that where I just... That right went off screen and then it came back. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Okay, maybe. Just gotta find an opening. Oh, there it is again. Just gonna find an opening where I can run or beat the crap out of them. No wait for the rat to go away. Okay. Damn it! I fell off the platform. You have failed. Game over. Wow, you only get two continues. <laughs> I remember this man, bear, rat, and bats and spiders. Yeah, see, like, little did you know, before Bell actually gets to the castle, uh, Beast is here just tearing the fuck out of all these creatures that decided to, like, enter his, uh, his domain. Uh, I, I think they explained it in the sequel, that DVD, directed DVD one, uh, Enchanted Christmas or whatever. Flashbacks or some shit. I'm gonna give it another go, before we start using any cheats. So I'm pretty sure the rest of the game is just basically like that. But we're gonna see it all. I will show you a world. It's only been 20 minutes. I'm good. I knew I wanted to start off with this one because I... I knew I wasn't gonna be good at it. The other one will get a bit further before we actually start using any codes. Come on. Ba -ba -ba -ba. That's right, Bat. I was waiting for you. This. Oh wow, we we uh I did not think we'd dodge that. I'm trying not to rely on my roars too much here. Cause it's gonna get a lot more hectic later in the level. So I wanna try and save them. It also looks like we stopped seeing a few snakes in a second. Oh no, I forgot my invincibility! Shit, I'm not going back for it. Here, I'm just gonna jump over the snake. Two and then... no? Did I just kill that thing with a leaping jump? That's awesome. another bear? Yeah, there's the other bear. Oh, fuck. Wrong button. Oh, well. I'm doing fine. Here, see? I 
don't know why they give you the option to crouch if you can still hit things without crouching. No! The bat! It cheats! I feel like this level's gonna be a little bit lengthy, because I don't ever recall getting through to the end. Oh, Jesus. Are grapes? Yes! Healing items! This game is fair! Just difficult. I feel like the... Beat the bears up. B -b Beat the bears. B -b Beat the bears. Beat the bats. You think the bats would have already been there to begin with? No! I went to hit the roar button! Shit. Shit, 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 shit. And we're back at the beginning. Aren't we? Yeah. Sigh. The rats are just the worst because they're quick. Jump. There we go. Eat my fist, bear. make it a little bit further to the grapes, I should be fine. This is this is where things get serious. Roar of the beast. Oh come on! No! I was punching him in the face! This game's... this game's difficult. For the most part, you kind of gotta let the enemies come to you. Oh, fuck off! That bat ran into my fists and it knows it. It knows the truth. I like how I was dodging the spider even though I have invincibility. I'm assuming this is invincibility. Or maybe it's not invincibility. I was taking damage. Oh, this is really fucked up. Your invincibility frames last longer than the actual thing. Fuck you. Stupid rat. Stupid bat. Stupid bear that's gonna come up in a second. No, wait, it's a rat. Snake, rat, and then the bear. I'm just gonna not even bother grabbing it. Not worth my time. better. But doing good! Things are dying. Just as the prophecy foretold. There we go. 
Eat fists! The rats are the worst. Rats and bats have, like, the weirdest hitboxes. Yeah, like that. Actually, I should not have used it. Like, for the most part, you're fine against a lot of these enemies. As long as there's a good distance, because, like, <laughs> the hitboxes are a little bit weird. <laughs> yeah. Yes! Worried about the bat. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, we got past it. Sweet. Well done, beast. Into the hallway. Oh my god, there's snakes coming out of the table. That is that is not good. Do not work on bears. You have failed. Game over. Is it going to take me back to the boss? No. That would, uh, that'd be a nice fit. Yeah, we'll see if we can get back there on this continue then. Fuck you, bat. Bats are just terrible. I'm trying to hit them before. Oh. Oh, well, that's not good. Oh, fuck off! I jumped on top of it! I touched it! Ew. The beast is just like really squeamish about touching them. Oh my god! Get rid of you, get rid of you. Bear! drop on top of them. Okay, don't worry. The grapes are coming up. The grapes are coming up in a couple of windows. A few windows, I can have a grape. Perhaps it doesn't, like, make me invincible, it just, I take less damage. I think that is what is happening. And that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Should be something coming up there. Is Yeah. 
anything else. I definitely know I'm going to have to use one of these for when two bears decide to gang up on me. There we go. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. And by we, I mean myself, but, you know. Teamwork. It's important to think of teamwork. I see something was posted here. Uh, hey, sorry, back. Jump. No, Siri, shut up. Fuck. Off. Thank you. Uh, hey, sorry, back. No. Fuck off! Leave me alone! There we go. Every time I say, sorry, the fucking voice thing decides to pop up, thinking I'm saying its name. It's dumb. Uh, I jumped into the shower really quickly. Damn, is the hallway that unforgiving? Okay, so I don't know what, how much you missed, but uh, yes, the hallway is that unforgiving. It requires you to like literally inch your way through it carefully. But I got to the boss, uh, which is just a bear hanging out in the dining room, and uh, it, it killed me. I, I can't like uh, petrify it, I suppose. We should be coming up to the door in a second. Be. Was that supposed to be part of the two bears? That snake. Come on, do your, do your threes and I'll go. Yes, the hallway is that unforgiving. Mario, see? Well done. The dining room! There's still more. Oh my god. <laughs> A temporary setback, please just put me back in the dining room. Thank you. Like, we were literally just a screen transition away from, uh, the boss there. Oh my god. Uh, no! Oh, Jesus, not what I wanted to do. Yeah, see, like, I can't... Where are you going? Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> what are you- what is your pattern? What the fuck? I didn't know it could grab me. Is it gonna put me back at the boss? Okay, good. Well, maybe not so good. I guess you were barely able to fight the boss, eh? Well, what do you think? <laughs> That's gonna kill me, isn't it? No, it just does a lot of damage. Oh my... <laughs> How am I supposed to hit it without getting close? You have failed. The bear acts like he's a fucking street. He's playing Street Fighter. I know. You did see that though. Like, if I got just a little too close, it like grabs me and takes out like half my health. A tad unfair, if you ask me. And I think my roar kind of gives me like. Slight invisibility, but I don't know. You just don't know. 
Alright. Let's see some other levels then. Here we go. Oh, no, no, no. He can do grabs, quick jabs, and he moves back and forth like he's playing footsies with you. Exactly. Forty minutes of just the fucking first level. <laughs> okay, so I think I'd be on here. B up B B A up this A B A down A Bo ba. Should have worked. And then... So... Whatever. And then during gameplay, hold all the buttons down. Yeah. Check out. It should let me skip the level. That's what it's supposed to, supposed to do. But it's just actually... Easy fix. What's that? Easy fix. Reset. Absolutely. Must have entered the, the cheat on the wrong screen. I would like to explore this world that this game has for me. Yes, there we go. There's only four levels in this game! Fuck off. Hello, you should make a safe state once you get to the boss. No, that's cheating. I'd rather just enter a cheat code. Wait. Does that mean... So, level 1A would be the hallway, right? And then... B would be the dining room, C would would be that bear, but then what's D? What's D? What is D? D D. What is D? Oh wait, hold on. Uh, return the game. I w I was like, oh I'll just make a safe state of this screen here. But actually I have a better thing I can do. Okay, yeah, so let's see what D is then. Okay. What the fuck is this thing? A temporary setback. There is a fucking boar <laughs> in his room. We 
we've, uh, we've ended up behind the boss, but his hitbox is in front of him. Interesting. Okay. Well done, beast! <laughs> so, when you've entered the level select thing... Oh, I don't even... was not expecting this. Oh, fuck off. Changing. Here's a puzzle. You can flip the piece around. Uh, the beast soon discovers Marcel in the castle and throws him into the dungeon. Oh. Uh, Bell takes... Bell agrees. Time passes. A temporary setback. Time has passed. Bell breaks her promise and leaves the castle. Bell is trapped in the woods. We gotta go save Bell, I suppose. Oh my god, this that bird was gunning for me. Look at this fucking bear! Oh, I'm I'm just I saw the bear trap there. It's like I better avoid that. A temporary setback indeed. I'm actually curious about to see what the boss in the forest is. Okay, so it's just more level. So. And then we should be getting to the boss in a second? Or is it just more level? Wow, those birds are the worst. Continue. Well done, beast. Well done, beast. That raven is just there to, like, take you out. And, mm, I don't know how I feel about that. Right, this should be a boss right now. It's a bigger wolf! And it actually moves. Cool. This boss battle's good. And there's a pattern in everything. We can beat this boss, guys. We, we, we can beat the boss. I'm going to punch a wolf. This should have been in the movie, the, that Disney remake. That would have been awesome. Just Beast going out and punching the shit out of a wolf. Oh god, it's changed its tactics. It's no longer predictable. does this thing have? Like, this is obviously phase two, right? Phase two where I punch it in the butt. Holy crap, these, these bosses have so much health! There we go. Well done, beasts! 
I actually legitimately beat a boss because there's a readable pattern to it. Mini game. My score is increasing. I wonder if there's a way to skip these mini-games. Like, do they activate after a certain point or something like that? Gaston ins uh, incites... Uh, gets the villagers all riled up. They go to rush the castle. The beast's servants... Uh, desperately try to... Think of a plan. <laughs> the servants wait until the villagers have entered, and then they fucking kill them. Oh my god! Who are these two? Is that supposed? That's not supposed to be Gaston, is it? Because the smaller one kind of looks like, uh, LaBeouf, or whatever his name is. Okay, so these are just villagers. How many of them I got beat up, though? Uh, no, it's not. Uh, no, it's not. And no, they're not. Just two villagers that get hurt in the film. Okay. It's been a while since I've seen the animated film. Here, let's just skip this, then. The small one uh, is the one that pulls out the feathers from the feather duster. Oh my god, is that is this all it's gonna be? Is me just beating up these villagers? Eh. Here's a bunch of villagers to beat up. Let's skip that then. I haven't seen the animated film for a very long time. Oh, uh, I died. A temporary setback. Let me try again. Just gonna skip it again. So that's three levels in a row where you have to just beat up a bunch of villagers. Alright, now we are doing an actual level. We're back in the fucking hallway again. Why am I collecting treasure? Is this treasure planet? Am I supposed to go down there? I'm not going to. Am I just picking up my stuff? Oh, it's a mini game. It is a mini game. I think. Maybe not. Gaston sneaks into the beast's room and shoots him in the back. Gaston and the beast battle on the castle rooftop. Alright. Boss battle, final boss, I guess. Or maybe not. Where the fuck are those coming from? Oh, fuck the 
this. Just take me to the boss battle. Let's beat the fuck out of Gaston. Wow, those are bad, uh, badly drawn. I, I think what they are, are they are ripped from the film. Ah, there he is. It's just, the, they're probably ripped from the film, and then they kind of spread over them. No one jumps like Gaston, no one dodge like Gaston, no one's quite like a street fighter, quite like Gaston! <laughs> No one cheeses it like Beast No One. <laughs> the, the bear boss battle was ridiculously difficult compared to the other two boss battles in this game. Simply because with Gaston, you can apparently just cheat it. Cheese it. Like, oh. At some point, apparently, he... I uncheesed it. I should have paid attention, I suppose. You hear that music? I gotta pay attention, I suppose. Come on, Gaston. So at some point he just started stabbing me, despite the fact that he's been doing this the entire time. Oh my god! What the fuck?! Now he stunlocked me! Alright, well, let's see what happens after you beat Gaston. He actually, Gaston actually starts trying. Treacherously leaves the beast dying, like, a couple of times. But Belle's love for him transforms him. What? Uh, I gotta get all my servants. Am I? I am slowly dying. Apparently, uh, let's. <laughs> apparently, I'm slowly dying in that level. Well done, Beast. You have won. That was dumb. Uh, there's, here's all the people who made this stupid game. You look at all the bad art. <laughs> Her? <laughs> Fucking... They, these look like, um... They, they took stills from the film? Uh, the animated film. And then they put it in, like, one of those, like paint bucket apps that were, like, on the DOS, where you had to, like, fill them in, in between, like, the lines. Thanks for playing, the hand of God. That's what it looks like. But that, look at that. What was it? In, um, in the early days of Windows, there was this app I mean, that you can get for, on a floppy disk. I think it was called, like, Crayon or something like that. And, uh, what you would do is you would... Basically, you could, like, just kind of draw on it or whatever. It was a little bit of a better paint. MSS paint. But one of the things in the Crayon, or coloring book, or whatever it was called, is they would actually have, um... RA made kind of, like, things that you could just put, like, a uh, fill in the colors to it. And, you know, they had some simple things like spaceships and 
planets and dinosaurs and whatnot. But then they also had like some really weird ones, like Freddy Krueger was one of them. And that's this is just what all these stills kind of remind me. Is like I, I expect to see one of those in there. You could just fill it in and make Beast fucking pink or something like that. The end. A temporary setback. <laughs> this game was dumb. Um, wow. Perfect. An hour. Okay, so. Oh, cool. It just brings me back here. Hmm. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. So, what 4 a and 4B... Okay, so 4A is probably the Gaston battle, and 4B is probably where you're looking for your servants. Which means... You got three levels there of beating up villagers. You got four levels in the woods, you got the four levels inside the west wing as it's being destroyed by the, the, uh, the weather. Like, there's your game right there. Three boss battles. Unless you count the villagers as boss battles, because they kind of... Kind of are? Okay. Uh, give me a sec, and I will switch games, and we will play the other one, which is Bell's Quest. And as we do, I'll try to remember to talk about Persona 5. Because you were asking about that earlier. So... Give me a second. 